sorry about that guys, that sort of cut off prematurely, I forgot about the time, I didn't realise I'd been doing this for about half an hour. Let me develop this. I will put this out a little bit because I want to put a bit of a green on here. Not a green, a bit of fairway. Or maybe even put a bunker here. I might it might be a better solution to put a bunker in there. Develop a bunker. Let me just extend this a little bit more. do is actually put a bunker down. I won't make it too deep because I just want it to be able to catch uh, any stray balls that go past that shoot overshoot the green. So what I'm going to do is create add surface bunker use a brush and I will probably what shape is that? shapes that we've got. I'll probably go for this little kidney shaped one. Reduce it slightly. Now by doing this I'm not sure if I really sync this enough but what I'll do is oops I did not want that. Scalp land, flatten. Go to here. Go up by about seven will do. So I want this bit to be a little more lower. The good thing with using this technique on bunkers is that you can actually use the same brush without having to alter much of any to change the height or anything. Right. Let's see what it looks like. I don't want to go too bad, mad. That's fine. And what I can do with the same brush is actually raise the the edge, the far edge. So that at least the player has a chance making it. Let me just reduce this brush a little more. And do that. Don't forget that you're raising the edge ever so slightly. We need to raise it a little bit more over here. That's fine as it is. What I will do for this one, I can actually lay down the fairway. I forget where this is now. So the so it's there. What we can do with the landscape as well is make this slightly bigger. Lower this bit. Now by doing by using this brush and doing it this way, you actually create some as you can see there, like a valley. In fact, the best one to use would be this one. Just twist it a bit. So it creates a kind of valley. A 
perfect. I think that's fine. Like again, I said, ex just experiment with the brushes and see where you need to go, or what bit you need to change slightly. There's no real hard or fast rules with this. Just do what you feel or looks correct. That looks fine to me, so what I'm going to end up doing is putting down fairway using a spline. If I start it here at approximately 100, it's going to be about there from the T. Do this I won't be putting any bunkers on the fairways there's already some natural hazards there that I've used using the water don't forget you don't need bunkers everywhere, um, especially if you can use the natural uh, surrounding area instead. Close this path, fill the spline, toggle second surface, click on the rough, 3.5 is fine. Keep it narrow. Uh, if we also make sharp smooth the path a little bit not too rugged escape and then what I'll do is actually smooth out the edges to make this playable let me just check where number six is something I haven't added to create surface create a green brush let's go for this rectangular one Seems to be raising this one. Well, well. Yeah, rough brush. There's nothing that says you can use it. You don't. That you have to use these particular brushes. You can mix them up a bit. Entirely up to you. Whatever you. It is after all your creation. No wonder I had minus. That shouldn't really make any difference. Just flatten it a bit. Might make a feature of that, I'm not sure yet. See how it goes. Let me just play this before I finish for the day. So it's a part four, four hundred and nine. The driver will take me there. If it actually reaches, it should do. As long as I don't go in the water. As you see, if, um, just by clicking away, I'm not really adding any rock features or planting at all because the terrain or the editor does it all for me. This I will probably have to change. This is quite.
challenging one. Stop, stop, stop. Excellent. I'll have to smooth this down a bit more. I do want to, pl want to give the player a chance of getting onto this screen. So after this, there's three more to do. Three more holes, and I'm finished, and I will release this, uh, hopefully by the weekend. So thanks for watching, guys. Oh no! <coughs> so this is basically what you can expect for my next course. move this out a bit. This will be completely different by the time you see it or it's published. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks again. And your prime out.